The pitch from Acevedo. A drag feet to right field. Down the line. The Mariners win this game 2-1. The dream lives. They're going to the playoffs. One more from Gant. There you go. Left field. We got a tie ball. So let's start out with our first one. This one we got from at Mariner Steve on X or Twitter. The question is, do you guys have more confidence in Josh Rojas or Luis Urias to produce at third? Lyle, what's your answer? It's close. I feel like for me, it's probably Rojas. And maybe that's because we've actually seen him play in a Mariner's uniform. And I feel like there's some people out there that are a little bit higher on Luis Urias and the idea of him bouncing back. I have seen a lot of people that are really, really of the full belief that he's going to have a good year here. And I hope he does. I just would like to see it in person in Seattle to really believe it. And what we saw to Josh Rojas, I feel like a lot of people like to forget about the impact he had once he got traded over here because he had a really tough start to his season in Arizona for the first few months before the trade. When he got over here, he was hitting out of that nine spot. He was getting on base a ton. He hit for a little bit of power, upgraded second base over Colton Wong. Of course, now he's going to slide to third where he has more experience. I don't know. Like, I like, I, I like Josh Rojas as a player. I've always said, if he is a nine hitter in a good lineup, that is perfectly okay. Right now, Josh Rojas is a nine hitter in a good lineup. So I would say ever so slightly, Rojas. I thought of this differently. It depends on what you're looking for in your third baseman, right? I think Rojas is the safer option. I think Urias has the higher upside at third for what a third baseman should probably bring, which for the Mariners case would be more offense at third. And I think Urias would provide that. He's got the higher offensive ceiling than Rojas does. Rojas in his career is topped out at a 110 WRC plus, Urias at a 112. But I think with his bat, he has a little bit more uh, of a power profile, they both have a decent walk tool, so that sort of bounces into Luis Urias's favor. If you need one win above replacement, my guy's Josh Rojas. If you need two to two and a half, your guy's Luis Urias. That's how I plant that. I'm honestly kind of leaning towards Luis. No offense to Josh, but I'm kind of leaning leaning towards Urias. He just kind of he feels more like an everyday third baseman than Josh Rojas does. I just don't know if Rojas has the bat to do it and the power most specific, more specifically the power to be an everyday third baseman. So I would actually, I would lean Luis Urias in this one. You're coming around on him. You're starting to sip the tea on Luis Urias a little bit because that wasn't, that wasn't either of our take a couple weeks ago. And now all of a sudden you seem to be again, buying in. Well, now he's got the benefit of platooning. So he's going to have the advantage most of the time at the plate. And that's going to benefit his offense. I'm just, thinking of it in the sense of what a third baseman is. When you think of a third baseman, you think of good defense. You think of a complete offensive player that hits for power and average and gets on base as well. The the Mariners don't have the complete package in either of these players, but Josh Rojas profiles much more as a second baseman than he does as a third baseman. And that's why it just, it's kind of weird to see him over there at third. We've gotten used to Gino hitting a bunch of bombs and playing good defense over there at third the last two seasons. And while they might not have that, Urias is a little bit closer to that Geno profile than Rojas is. And Rojas walks a lot, and overall his approach at the plate is good. But when it comes down to it, his lack of power is gonna gonna kind of gonna gonna be a detriment to to his third base production. And that's why it's for anyone who watched last season, you say, oh, obviously Rojas. Well, no, I don't think it's that obvious to be honest. There there is more upside in the bat of Luis Urias if he can turn it around and have a full healthy season over there you remember what zip said 90th percentile projection for Luis Urias is 126 WRC plus Rojas's 90th percentile was not that so you're right if you're looking for upside the belief is Urias Urias we're gonna have to learn how to make sure to get his last name right maybe we can ask him at some point or somebody can ask him is your guy Urias is your guy if you want the higher ceiling so yeah I think that's a fair I think that's a fair assessment. Also, remember Luis Urias when he hit that home run in the WBC off of Roki Sasaki? I do remember that. Yeah. It was down down in Miami. (laughs) I saw that the other day. Yeah. I mean, long before we ever thought he was going to be a Mariner, but hey, took Roki Sasaki deep in the WBC. And you can argue, I mean, again, this is a few years down the road because Sasaki has a few years until he's going to get to the big leagues. But you could argue that is one of the 
five best pitchers on the planet. He's just playing in Japan right now. That's true. So yeah. my final answer will be Luis Sirius. Okay. I'll go Rojas for now. I guess I'm taking the safer route, but prove me, lo- prove me wrong, Luis. I would love to see you get back to your 21-22 form. 